Hello, welcome back to Anodyne 2. Before recording, I went to the settings to see if I could make these polygons more smooth, because honestly, these jagged pixels at the edge of them are kind of making my eyes sore, but unfortunately, we don't have that problem. Um, I'll get to this text soon. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have that solution, so I'm just gonna have to get used to it. And, you know, it is how old games used to be, and, you know, every time I look at how Mario 64 looked on an N64, my eyes start to bleed too, even though that was my favorite game back in the day. So, we're just gonna get used to it. So, prediction time. This game is gonna get dark. That beginning was like our entrance. Uh, it was a extremely easy, extremely hand holdy tutorial on purpose, I'm guessing. Because it's like, okay, we're a baby, this is our first view of what life is all about, it's innocent, um, we see the wonderful wonder and um, safety of being taken care of, and uh, it's, it's, it, this is the creators of Anodyne, it's called Anodyne 2, it's gonna get really, really dark. And so that's probably setting us up for now we're going into the world, and soon or at definitely by the end of the game we're gonna see the horrors of what existence can bring and uh, you know that's why i signed up for this game that's why i loved the first anodyne so much you know in the beginning with the characters that you know palisade and sea psalmist who just look weird you know they're not how you expect humans to look and then talking about how the core is the thing from which everything springs and it's kind of like okay what does that mean? Don't know? Don't have any idea? Are they just spouting stuff to get us to believe them? Or are they actually trying to explain something in a way a baby would understand? You know, we're gonna find out later in the game, probably. Or if it's anything like the first game, maybe we'll never find out. But yeah, I don't necessarily trust these characters. I don't trust Palisade that much. You know, we have no idea why we were brought into existence. We don't know if we're actually doing good. You know, it could be that whatever dark, horrible, twisted turn comes later in the game, we've already done something that causes it. <laughs> it could be that in going inside of those yoke people, we unleashed some horrible devastation on the innocent inhabitants of this city. Uh, I <laughs> we'll have to wait and find out. All right, back to the game. Taking too long to get around, Nova? Now that you're out in the open, try using your ride scale form to zoom around the city. Press right bumper to exit ride scale form. And enter. Hold A to accelerate, hold B to move back out, figure it out. Reverse X to engage cruise control. X is that button, okay. <laughs> How long have I used a, an Xbox controller for computer games? There are some places you cannot enter ride scale. If using a controller, it's highly recommended to use A to accelerate, not right bumper, because that makes you stop. If you forget a control, you can double check them in the settings menu, or press buttons until you figure it out. Oh yes, Nova, one more thing. Sometimes if you talk to people twice, they have new things to say. Be sure to talk often, but not rocks. Rocks don't do that. All right, good to know. What is this? We are riding, driving, accelerate. Accelerate more, the camera is doing weird things. Okay, get a good camera and then just leave it. Okay, toasts to a stop. Accelerate, which one was cruise control? This one? There we go. Man. I'm always nervous using cruise control while driving. It's like other people are going different speeds and if I want to interact with any other car, I gotta go out of cruise control to do it. And so, yeah. All right, so I'm just driving around in circles. I am a car, apparently. This is me. Now I am a human. What do you have to say? What voice should I give you? You look cute. Welcome to part two of the Snow Tour. This is Snow Lake. It has the mysterious effect of anyone who drives into it will warp back to where they were a few seconds ago. Like falling into lava if you're Link. 
To this day, it is the only known trigger for the teleportation phenomenon in Synode. Truly a testimony to the vicious cycles of living. <laughs> we cannot escape our past, it will always haunt us. By the way, if you see my brother, I will sell him around the market, but uh, he's easy to lose track of. <laughs> so there's a, a world building reason, or excuse I should say, given for why you teleport back if you fall in here. They didn't need to do that, but they did. And that's fine. Go, go, go! Stop. This is what you do at a farmer's market. I want to talk to you from here. Come on. Pinocchio. Ah, uh, the Jormungle of Roots are looking fresh today, and how plump the green fi flippers are. This delightful produce makes me feel truly immersed in this fantastical world created by the center. Okay. So it is part of the world's mythology. <laughs> I'm trying to find the candy by echolocation. <laughs> um, somebody needs to read a little bit more about what echolocation is. I am trying to jump on top of all of the food. See how high I can get. Oh! Can I get up there, I wonder? Not from there. Barely not high enough. From here? Ah, uh, after that. Maximally high jump. I will talk to all these characters. I just want to get on as high as I can. I guess I can go up there. And not quite high enough from here. High enough over here. Let's talk, tongue man. You know, if you want the food, you have to pay 20 whoopee whoopee. Nova walks up to the strange figure by the clock. The figure quivers strangely, licking the air. Are they hungry? Nova wonders. They appear to have a sort of hunger that Nova has never seen before. Something that Nova ought not to see. She curls her toes inside her shoes as the figure turns to meet her gaze. Come here, sweet one, let me taste you. The smooth curvature of your mask, the lightly dusted tread of your boots, the metallic tearing of the silver ring upon your back. <laughs> My tongue quivers in anticipation. No, I must resist the dust. It fills my mind. Day and night, I fantasize about all the delectable flavors around me. Once my skin was smooth, now every inch is sensitive to taste, longing for flavor. You have a problem. Does that mean you're a level? No, I guess not. It is. 5 till 12, looks like. How high can we get? Is this as high as we can get? Can we jump up here? Looks slightly curved. Nope. Can we jump on... Uh, no, I guess not. We can only accelerate. Yeah. Oh, I can double jump out of the air when switching from the car. That will probably never be an intended way to get anywhere. Hello. Hmm. Prune crackers, prune crackers. Boy, the graphic design and product packaging sure has gone downhill since my day. It all just looks like a blur of colors. Yeah. Uh, I can't read yet, so I... CCC uh, yeah. market. Or does it say, man kit? Hello, you have a big nose I didn't expect. 
MoleTuber, <laughs> I make videos about video games, but it's hard. It's not just fame and rainbows. No one was watching my videos unless I made stuff about the latest Big World series installment. <laughs> I just want to cover small world, not big world. Well, take it from a Let's Player who has a very small channel and could probably get a lot of subscribers if you played other games. Play the games you want to play. That's what makes this hobby fun. What do you have to say? I love toys. Uh, wait, do I? I used to find them very exciting, but now I'm like, uh -huh, why do I have this garbage? Yeah, me too. I used to love Legos, especially the Bionicle brand. And, um, I had all the collection, I had a big collection, not not anywhere near all the collection, but, you know, all the the main Toa. You know, I, I don't want to talk too much about that random toy line that most people don't these days don't know, because it was back in 2000. But I had a collection. I was missing one. And then, for my birthday, or for Christmas or something, my brother bought me the final one. And I was like, yeah, awesome, I have this collection now. And I built it, and then put it away forever. And I want to sell it now, because it's just, it's just toys. It's boring now. Dust, dust, dirty dust, clean behind your ears you must. If you don't, you will die. Dust, dust, dirty dust. Wonderful nursery rhyme for parents to scare their kids into cleaning their ears. What have we got over here? It's secluded. Doors that way. There's a person in a big hat. Well, I want to explore over here first. You have to remember we have a gun, a handgun, literally. Environment. 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 Destroying? No. Environmental storytelling. Ah, that is what that says. So, it means that there is a crowd around here, probably youngsters, who are discontent with their lot in life and who have the desire to run around spray painting on walls. Or uh, if not discontent with their lives, then seeking an express a, a way to express their artistic ambitions. There's a lot of just like, this is a weird maze. Okay, go on in a circle. We can't go back up that way. Can't get through here like that. Oh, this music is beautiful. It the music definitely reminds me of this era. This video game era. The arrows are all pointing backwards, pointing the other way. But I came from the other way. The arrow is there, so suggest suggest that I want to go this way first because it's the wrong way. Yes, yes, it is. just gotta look at everything. Looks like you might be able to get up there, but it's gonna be like a don't go this way, it's the wrong way type of thing. Hey, I found the worm family! You look really weird, all of you. Hello, baby pig worm. If only I had a football made of my own skin, then it could never be truly pulled away from me. Yeah, and I guess you'd never fumble either. Happiness is a warm puddle. That sometimes it do be. Are you having fun there? Are you having fun? 
Good grief, I can't stand it. Day after day, the same food and the same dish. Hello, Mama Pigworm. A malaise rests upon my children like a shroud of sludgery. Please, I request you listen to each of my children, then return to me. Okay. Have you ever heard of the rooting reflex? If you touch a baby on the cheek, they will cheer for the home team. Is that so? Is that all your babies? Can I talk to you from on here? No? This seems like a talking platform, doesn't it? You stand here and talk? Nova, thank you for listening to my children. The great squirming creature hangs its head and speaks in a low rumble. Oh, the mud feels so cool and calming to our skin, prickled as if we are fur by fever and eczema. I think that's some kind of disease. In this dark and still corner of the alleys, Nova hears the soft squishing sounds of the gwarms writhing and turning. She shivers at the faint groans they emit while pressing their delicate pink skins into the mud. Now the great gorm lifts its head and stares off at an imaginary horizon, tears glistening in the corner of her eyes. I hear a distant echo from the past, the shadow of misremembered song, she says, slowly growing in intensity. We gorms were once proud and beautiful, she proclaimed, or else the cinder would never have created us. You know, Maybe you're still proud and beautiful. You don't, you don't have to worry about how other people see you. All you have to care about is how you see yourself. That's what matters. You are still proud and beautiful. Go live your proud, beautiful lives. The great Gwarm turns to Nova and says, It is the dust. The dust has caused us to forget ourselves, and now all we have left is to ease our discomfort by rolling in the filth. Please, Nano Cleaner Nova, clean us so we may understand the center's plan once again. The air is thick with the presence of nano dust. Nova, spark this being and forge a connection. Clean them and change their fate. Shrink forth, Nano Cleaner Nova. Let's do it. Uh. There we go. It's weird. It, it that feels kind of weird that you. Okay, this is not 2D. It feels kind of weird that you shoot it. What is the boss fight? Shoot it multiple times. Um. Okay, I'll read this in a sec. It's weird that you shoot it multiple times and that the, the slider goes down as you do it. I feel like you could do it once or twice if the once is an accident. It does feel a little bit weird to have to rapidly press the button. Nano dust is pushing Nova away from the clean E. Colored bullets will arc at you as you approach the clean E. Use the left stick to activate Nova's shield according to where you feel the attack is coming from. Feel the directions, feel the colors, good luck. So yellow come yellow is up, blue is left, purple is right, green is down. Uh. Uh. uh, uh. Okay, so it's a, it's like a rock band type of thing. I'm terrible at these. I can't change the camera either. Uh. This is the first one. I I did it. Okay, now we're going to the 2D segment. I'm going into your throat. I hope that's okay. Tardigrade amnesia. In the lower levels of the brain lurk shameful secrets. Great warm. There's no letters on the ground, just the C for checkpoint. Is this the way out? I don't want to go there yet. Let's suck up the dirt. Okay, no. It's just ground. And here it's just ground. 
Just you be my bullet. You go strike something. All right. Seems like I cannot suck you up. Hmm. Maybe I can't get past here. Am I gonna get an item? That would be cool. Just collecting stuff. Okay, you seem to... Don't seem to be able to suck anything else up. I could get you, I think. I would take damage. Oh, pictures up there. <laughs> oh, those Guam pictures. Like a, a Guam in a suit and a necklace or a tie or a collar or something. It's hard to tell with pixels. All right, there's a ladder. And we can, we can go around in a circle. Maybe the lights will turn on and we'll see something horrible here. More pictures of the same thing. This one looks like the grubs from Hollow Knight. Okay, I do this in the dark. Here we go. And then again. You're not there, you are maybe across a pit. Can't can't see. I can reset though. Are you across a pit? Yeah, I want it. I want it. Oh. This music kind of reminds me of Yoshi music. From, uh... Like a cross between, um... Zelda Forest Temple music and Yoshi music. Alright, what is over here? Got to join everything together. All right, so I can wait. Favorite game mechanic, waiting. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, so you can defeat these guys. All right, good to know. I haven't seen anything resembling a treasure chest yet, but now I know that I can go this way. And defeat you guys. Yeah. Filling out this map. Haha. <laughs> okay, I gotta get you somehow. Can I shoot over? I can. Nice. All right, who needs two shots? Um, me, apparently. Yeah! Win for me! Oh, I didn't need to do that. Okay, that's not a way. It's a wall. Where there's a wall, there's a way. Oh, I went in a circle. Okay, cool. It doesn't show me the full map, I see. It only shows me part of it. So, yeah, so probably a seven by seven. Whoa, those gravel. Yup, yup, didn't get hit. Get with my no hit run on this dungeon. It's going strong. I want it. Oh, honey, I told you if we're going to get away from the city, then we ought to go all the way. If only you had that promotion, huh? Oh, the neighborhoods we could have chosen from. Can I talk to you? Do I have to kill you? It's like these these people are friendly. I guess I have to. Darling wifey dearest, did you forget to lock the door? Look at this street prowler you let in. Violence is practically written onto their face. 
Yeah, we don't seem to be able to do anything. Papa, are we to call the police? Uh, I'll, I'll leave you alone. Or would it be a mercy to get you too? They're letting me through. I feel bad. That is what I signed up for with this game, though. Is that going to be like a choice? If I kill them, then nothing's going to happen. Or then I'm going to feel bad later. If I don't kill them, they're going to come back and be a boss fight or something. Can I examine this? Hello. That's kind of creepy. Guess you guys are fine. Nano assassin. <laughs> Die! The center must be destroyed! I'll destroy you with people! Ow! I'm not doing too good this time. I missed. Gotcha. 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 It was six hits last time, I believe. <laughs> no, destroy Nova! Kill the cleaner! You know, we're gonna find out one day that the, all these nano dust people are actually good and we're the bad one. Let's go. I found a thing. It's dusty. I'm gonna clean it. I... I love cleaning. Don't really like that I love it, but I do. So I do it. Nova, I can feel the fog lifting from my memories. I am the auger. I was created to investigate the future by studying the gambling habits of birds. <laughs> Creek Walm the auger. Each and every one of us has a role to play in the grand story of New Zealand. You have shown me this, Nova. My children and I were once selfish and short-sighted. We complained about our lot in life and lost sight of the sender's plan. There is a place for us after all, Nova. There will always be a place for us. His idea of grand story and the center and the plan. He's just giving me bad guy vibes. And all this, this like happy music and white screen. It's like, this is, this is bad. We're bad guys. We are created by bad. <laughs> for sure. Nova feels the glandulox seed pulsating inside of her. It channels the center's power, transforming the deadly dust crystal into a card. Because that's how chemistry works. Center City Sanote. Aw, oh, you're here, Palisade. Congratulations on your first card, Nova. I can tell you'll be a wonderful nano cleaner for the people of New Zealand. By the way, Nova, be sure to take a break if you're feeling tired. Collecting cards is important, but so is your well-being. Okay, 